What's up guys, JTails here, and I think I have a very interesting story for you all. Um, it's about the time I made $1,000 in one day, playing Super Smash Bros., what I love. Um, so I'm going to go back in time and talk to you guys about who I was and why that happened. So if you rewind back to the Brawl Day, Super Smash Bros. Brawl, I wanted nothing more than to be the very best player. I would always look up to, obviously, the top 10, M2K, Anti, Nairo, Ally, all these guys, and I was always so close. I was so close, but I, I was never right there. I was never on par with them. I was always like, all right, maybe I could take a game, you know what I mean? But I was never at that echelon, and, and it bothered me a lot, because I put in so much time into the game and so much effort, countless, countless hours. So anyway, fast forward to Smash 3DS. Smash 3DS comes out, and I bought it, and I played five, six, seven, eight hours every day. I just wanted to learn everything I could about the game, try to be the best player I could be, and my results were showing. I was doing very, very well for myself on 3DS. So, Smash Wii U comes out, and it's the same game, obviously, um, and there's a major tournament, KTAR. It's in New Jersey, and it wasn't too far from me, so I decided to attend. This was KTAR 11. I had won KTAR 10 on 3DS. So I was like, okay, this is a good shot for me, and a lot of people entered, so the pot was huge. It was over $1,000. Um, uh, the pot was close to like 1500 or something, so or more than that actually, and first place would get over $1,000. So, um, yeah, so I, I went and I played through pools, I made it out first in my pool, and then I had to fight a few people. I remember fighting Zuko, I fought Gimmer, Gimmer's Gaming Watch was super, super good at the time, uh, Zuko's Mega Man, obviously, um, I fought the Buzz in Winner's Finals, and that was like, to the wire it was to the wire and uh i ended up taking the set with a forward smash i remember he landed like right in front of me and i just forward smashed him with diddy with the two uh, uh. um anyway so yeah so then m2k was waiting in losers finals and he ended up beating the buzz also which put him in grand finals and i remember <laughs> m2k lol m2k um, I remember the moment he sat down next to me and I was like, okay, this is M2K and he's beaten me in Brawl before. Um, obviously, he's a god at melee and no one can contest that. And I was like, all right, I'm going to be fighting one of the best Smash players in the world. Um, and I remember telling myself, I can do this. I remember thinking to myself, like, I, I know I can win. I know it. And I just kind of... I, I, as soon as the match started, I thought not, about nothing else except for the game at hand. And um, we were doing Diddy Kong Dittos, and we were back and forth, but I had a little bit more knowledge of Diddy Kong from Brawl, but obviously Mewtwo King was just a better, smarter player overall, Smash Fundamentals. But um, I'll let you guys see how the last bit of the match went. Angle. And you can't stay on that edge, man. Regrabbing it will do nothing. Ah! Oh my God! Okay, gotta chill. Gotta chill. Oh, Nuja King trying to just just steal that one. Just rob J Tails. I can't blame him. He's done it before, like a shiz. Yeah, oh right. Oh my God. Now whoever said that that's <laughs> in Florida? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't know. Is this is this gonna happen? Oh, and oh, that's it. That's it. it. Is it? Yeah. I don't know. That's it. Yep. J Tails just won over a thousand dollars. <laughs> That's it, folks. KTAR 11. JTails just won a super stack tournament. I don't know if Nairo or Nakao would have been able to stop him or false. I mean, he went through the tear. He beat the Buzz. He beat Mewtwo King. He beat, uh, he was on point he, he beat everybody. He played the best I've ever seen him play. He, yeah, that was, that. that was optimal JTails right there. That was Tass JTails. Tass JTails. <laughs> you know what's really scary? What? He has room to improve. Oh, he You absolutely. can look at his play, and just from watching, there are things that, like, Mewtwo King could pick up from him, and JTails could pick up from Mewtwo. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. crazy. If they, if these guys labbed it for like, you know, a, couple a of week, days, not, not even at the rate that they improve. Yeah, I'd be terrified. And also, hi Jay gamer. Tails, uh, hi gamer. All right, I'm we're. Just saying, I had to play in the second round in my pool. I'm just saying, like, I was a cheap bit. Diddy, she was in the pool. Shoutouts to Diddy's, right? 
Yeah, so I ended up winning, um, and I won over $1,000, and afterwards they interviewed me, and it was like one of the best feelings in the world, just to like know that all your practice and all your time and effort like is worth something, you know what I mean? Like I beat everybody that day, I beat everybody, and also it's funny because at the same time, Sky Williams was having an invitational at his house in SoCal, and he invited Nairo, Nakat, Esam, uh, Anti, Zenodo, all these guys, and what's funny is that I had really, really good results, um, better than a lot of the players that were invited, but since they were big names from Brawl, they got invited and I didn't. But that ended up working out for me because I was able to win an East Coast major. So that was um, really interesting. And yeah, so I guess the, the purpose in me kind of uh, saying this is I think that some people think that not everyone can do this, right? Like, oh, you know, like, yeah, you can win your J-Tails and, you know, like, yeah, Mitsu King wins. This is his, his life. And yeah, this is what Zero does. But I think that everyone has the potential to do this. I think that it's just a matter of learning what you need to do in order to reach this point. Um, I, I, I think I can go into almost any game and already be like semi high level um, because of the work ethic, because of the practice and kind of learning how to understand the components of each game. If I'm playing a, a shooter, let's um let's say i'm playing overwatch right i haven't played overwatch before first thing i would do is pick every single character and learn all their moves their range their speed their properties their weaknesses etc and, and kind of take mental notes and then from there move on to learning all the maps and then from there watch competitive videos watch what the top players are doing and their team composition etc etc and i really do think that anybody with a the right kind of work can get to this point as well. Um, I don't. I don't think this is a special, um, impossible to do thing. Obviously, it takes a lot of dedication and knowledge um, to follow the right steps. But I think that anybody can reach this if you have the drive and the time. Obviously. Um, so yeah, guys. Um, let me know what you thought about this story. If you enjoyed it, um, please leave a like down below. And I have tons of resources. If this is your first time viewing my videos, I have tons of resources for Smash Brothers, for other fighting games. Let me know what you guys want to see. I play all kinds of games, Street Fighter, Hearthstone, Marvel, you name it, I probably play it. Pokemon VGC. If you guys want to see tutorials about mindset or how to practice, things like that. Let me know in the comments what, what you guys think would be helpful and I'd be happy to make that content for you. Um, also, I do offer private lessons for Smash Brothers, so anybody interested in improving and getting to that caliber, definitely consider some coaching with me. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Later.